Well, regular viewers have noticed we've been talking about water main breaks on a regular basis this winter, more than usual in some places. So many of them. They're both a huge headache and an enormous expense. And the latest today in Colony, where they had to close uh, or fix a bunch of them, they've had close to 100. Hard to believe. Craig Smith's been talking to the supervisor there and has more on how tough this winter has been on the pipes. It sure has, Greg and Liz. Municipalities expect these kinds of repairs every year. Colony Supervisor says they do their best to guess where the need is going to be the greatest and minimize the trouble. On Delator Road, halfway between the Latham Roundabout and Watervliet on Route 2, workers described a six-inch main 10 feet down and a long night ahead of them in 13 degrees. Been tough on our guys. Supervisor Paula Mahan says Colony has had about 90 breaks since January 1st. She's among those administrators who look to their water and public works directors to estimate how bad each season might be. Just take a look at everything. Mainly, mainly the, the history tells us uh, what the average is, and then we go from there. Um, if we have a little bit more that we can put in, I mean, that's fine, but we've, we've got to stay within budget. Mahan says so far the town has spent about $35,000 from a water department overtime budget of about $190,000. That's out of a town budget of $85.5 million. No city is immune. Cohoes has had more than it would like. We always sit there and count on there's going to be problems. That's why you have a contingency fund. Same goes for Rensselaer and farther east, Nassau, where there have been several in recent days and a boil water advisory is in effect. And in Troy, a $13 million budget, and we have $100,000 set aside. They figure less than 1% of the water budget will cover water main emergencies and materials. And in recent years, if a main doesn't break, it's left alone. I know back in the 60s and 70s, they did a lot of replacements. Um, but recently, it just hasn't been the budget to replace lines. It's more reactive. That was Cohoes Mayor George Primo you saw back there. According to Troy's utility superintendent, that city has had about 30 breaks so far. He says it was a slow start to the season, but lately it's been about one break every other day. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.